Hi, zombie. Hi, I'm George, and we're going to find a music disc. There should be one up in this room here. So we can take that and then change what's on that disc and have a custom music disc. Let's see if we can get over here. Oh, got to get past this guy first. No big deal. We can get rid of him. There it is. Okay, now there should be a treasure chest in here. I'm in a woodland mansion. There's always one up in this level. And there's one there, and hopefully, yep, there we go. We find a couple of discs right inside there. So we're all set. We now have our music disc. Okay, we have our record. Let's now see what we have. I'll toss it into that jukebox right there. Okay, that's the cat record. C1 Freight, pull that back out again. Now that we know what we have, we can go ahead and change the song on that record. And we can also change that disc to a different look. Okay, for that, let's switch over to the desktop and begin getting things set up. The first thing you'll need is a folder to build everything in. I just made a new one here on my C drive and I call it Bedrock Packs. You can place it anywhere you want and name it anything you want. This is just a convenient way to do that. You also need to have your new song file. I have mine right here. And this is one which I got off of the YouTube music library. Now this cone shape thing, this is just the icon. That means that I'm playing this with the VLC media player. That's all that is. If you use a different media player, you'll have a different icon on there. So don't worry about that icon. Then over here, I have my custom pack icon PNG. And this is just a square image, 256 by 256. And it's a PNG file. That's all that is. And this is just what shows up in the list of resource packs. You don't really need this. You can always use the default grass block if you want to, if you don't want to go to the trouble of making your own. But it's nice to have your own icon for that. I always use the same one for all my packs. Okay, now we need to get a vanilla resource pack and you can download that online. I'll put the download link in the description so you can just click on that and download that directly. I'll go ahead and I'll do that right now. And here's that download window. I'm putting it into my same Bedrock Packs folder. And there it is. It says 118.1, which is perfectly fine. Okay, just click on Save and then save it into that folder. And there we go. I need to open this up. I'm going to right click on this and open in New Window right over here because we only need just a few things out of here. We don't need everything, just a few things. The first one I want to do is to get the image for the disk. We'll find that under Textures and down here under items. And let's just change our view here to list view and then find the records. And then right over here, what you want is the record cat PNG. I'll just right drag it over here and copy. There we go, that's the disk image we'll be replacing. Now while we're here, we need to make this folder set right there inside of our working folder. So I'll just take this and I'm gonna put that right there so I can see that. So let's make a new folder in here, new folder. And let's call this one textures. And then inside of this, new folder, and this one's going to be items. There we go. And we'll put our fixed record inside that location. Okay, let's now go here back up to the root of the zip file, and we'll go into texts. And you want to have the text file, the lang file, for the language that you're using. I'm in the U.S. English right here, so I need this text file. I'll drag this one over, and I'll copy it right there, right drag and copy. And the same thing, we need to have that texts folder in this location. So let's make a new folder here. Let's call it texts. There we go. That's all set to go. Now I need to make one more folder, and it's going to be inside of the sounds folder. Right in here is where we're going to have our music file, but it's not listed in here. But we do need to have that sounds folder first. So I'll go ahead and we'll make that one new and folder and sounds. And then inside of here, make a new folder right there. New. This is music. I'm going inside of music and a new folder. This one is game right there. Go inside of this new folder and records. There we go. And we'll put our new song file right in this location here. Okay, that's all set up. We need one more thing and that's back here into our zip file. And this, this right here, this is the manifest.json file. You need this file as well. So I'll just right drag it over here. There it is. And if you don't want to make your own icon file, Here's the default one right there, pack icon PNG. This is just that grass block image. So if you want to use that instead, just right drag that over here also, but I'm using my custom one right there. Okay, that's everything we need out of that vanilla resource pack. So you can close that down. That's all taken care of. And all of our folders are all set up to go. So the next thing we need to do is to go over here to our manifest. Now I have this opening up in Notepad++. It's a free download. I'll put a link for that in the description. And it's a great code editing program. I'll just open that up here. There we go. And there are a few things in here. First, we have this description at the top. I'm going to change this one. And this is going to be 
custom record. Look at 1.18. Now, if you want to, you can copy that. I'll just select it, right click and copy, and I'll put it right down here. Right click, paste, and also right down here. These can all say the exact same thing. And paste. That's taken care of. Now we also have this UUID code, which is right in here, and there's a different one right down there. These are kind of like license plates. And every single resource pack in your game has to have different codes for these two positions. I'll put a link for a place where you can get brand new codes. You can get these brand new UUID codes from this location. But there's an easier way. If you're just doing just a few resource packs, you're not sharing it or anything, just add a new number here into that one. Right now I'm using 17. So I'm just going to take that 22 plus 17, and that gives me 39. There we go, and then right down here, 17 plus that 19, and that gives me 36 right there. So if you're just doing your pack for yourself, this is all you have to do. If you're going to be sharing your pack or putting your pack up online, then you should go to that UUID code website that I have listed in the description. Go there to get brand new codes and get the whole code. You need two of those, one for here and one for down there. Okay, then just save that, and that's done. The next thing we have to do here is in the US English, this is my language file. Again, if you're using a different language, it'll be your language file. And I also have this opening up inside of Notepad++. I'll bring this up and we need to find the records in here. So let's go up here to search and find and just do a search for item.record. And that takes you right down to the right location. And this is the name of the disk in the game. And we're going to be doing cat as we saw previously right there. That's the one. This is the description. So right here, we need to rename this, and easy way to do that, I'm just going to go over here, and I'll click into this name, right-click, copy, and then I'll select this, right-click, and paste. There's a new name. That's all done. And let's save that and get that out of the way. Okay, so those two things are taken care of. Just two things left. One is to convert the mp3 file over into the .ogg format. Now, you cannot just type OGG on here. This is not going to work. It has to be converted, and I like using the Audacity program. Once we do that, we'll then take care of that record image right there. So I'll bring up Audacity, and I'll convert this over to the .og format. And here we go. Inside of Audacity, let's just get that out of the way. And then I'll bring up the working folder again. And the easy way to bring a song file into Audacity is just to drag it in like that. There we go, and get this out of the way. Now, this song file is in stereo, and Minecraft is designed to work with songs in mono. So we'll do that conversion first. Go up here to Tracks, come down to Mix, and mix Stereo down to Mono. That's taken care of. Let's now convert this over into the OGG format, and that's File. Come down to Export, and Export as OGG, or OGG. And it's going into our Bedrock Packs. And then choose Save, and OK. Let that finish the conversion. There you go, that's done. We can now close out Audacity. We're all done with that. I'm not going to bother saving that file. And here we go, there is the OGG format. Now, we also need to have this named cat, so I'm just going to rename this right now. And it's called cat. And that's ready to go inside of the location in the sounds folder. So let's drag it in here. And we'll go inside and drag it into the correct folder for that. There's game. And then into records. Double check. There it is in the right location. Let's just change our view here to large icons right there. Okay. Let's go back to our resource packs. Last thing that's left to do is just to change the look here of our record. We're going to make this one into a CD instead of a 45 record. And for that, I'll be doing this in Paint.net, another great free program. I'll put a link for the download for that also in the description in case you don't have that on computers already. So I'll bring this up now in Paint.net. There's Paint.net, and again, I have my working folder in front here. And I'll just drag in that record image and open. These are real small pictures, as you can see, so I'm going to increase the size. I'm just going to zoom in on this a bit. Now, I want to have this bigger, so I have more detail. Increase the detail. That's image. Come down to resize right here. And I'll change this to 64 by 64. Leave everything else the same. And I have my resampling here set to nearest neighbor. Choose OK. And there it is. Let's just get this recentered in our window like that. And I have another picture I'll be bringing up, and that's of a CD. I'm going to use that artwork on top of this artwork right here. So let me bring that up. There it is, and let's zoom in on this a bit, and we'll check the size on this one. Image, resize, and this is also at 64 by 64. That's good, so that's all fine. Leave that one as is. Let's now select this and make a copy of it. 
edit, select all, and then edit copy. And we'll go over here to our record disk right here and then edit paste into new layer. And it comes in as a new layer sitting on top and that happens to fit just fine. Now, if you're using a different picture and it doesn't fit, just grab the corners in here and you can then resize it right from those corners like that. But ours is fitting great, so that's good. We can then hide that background and I'll deselect, that's Control D to deselect. And I think I'll go just a little bit sharper on that, a little bit of sharpening. So I'll go up to Effects and come down to Photo and Sharpen is right there. One Sharpen, that's all I think I need. And choose OK. There we go. Looks good. That's all set to go. We can now save this out. So do a File, Save As. And it comes in as a paint.net file first. I'll choose Save there. That saves it with the layers in case I want to go back and redo this in the future. And then do a File, Save As. And we'll change our Save As down here to PNG. It is you want to be saving on top of that Record Cat PNG right there. That's the right name. And we'll also save it in the right location at the same time. So that's inside of Textures and Items. And it goes right here. Choose Save. Choose OK. And Flatten. And that's now done. We can then close out Paint.net. OK. We're all set now to make our resource pack. We need to move this file here inside of Texts. We'll just drag it in like that. Double check. There it is. That's good. OK. Let's now zip this up. So sounds, I'll hold down the control key, text, textures, that manifest, and that pack icon PNG. We need those five pieces. And then either right click and compress to zip file, or right up here, you can come down and compress to zip file. I'm in Windows 11 right now. If you're in Windows 10, then it's the share tab and zip. Same thing. So Windows 11, right click, compress to zip file, and then just give it a name. I'll call it custom record 1.18. Now click into the name. So you can change that name and then change the zip to MC pack. Just like that. And yes, and it's all set to go. Now the icon should change to a Minecraft icon. If it doesn't, just go in here, fold it and go back again and you should see it. There it is. Okay, that's all set to go. Now make sure that Minecraft is not running and then double click on this to load in Minecraft and to import this into the game. We'll do that right now, double click and Minecraft is loading in. And then once it has loaded to the title screen, it's going to import that resource pack. There we go, import started. This should go real fast. And successfully imported, we're all set to go. All right, now, come down to settings. In here, scroll down, global resources right here, where it says my packs, you'll find it in here. There's that pack, click on activate. Let's check it up here in active. There it is in active, that's fine. We'll back out of settings. Now loads in that as an active pack. And we'll go into play and we'll test it out. Click on play. There's my main world. And we can see it right down there inside of the inventory there. There's the music disc. You see it in my hand. Looks good right there. And the top view, that's fine. Let's now toss it into the jukebox. See if we have the right name over there and see how it sounds. There's the new name. And that's the right song. Click out, it comes, and that's all there is to it to put your own music on those record discs. Make sure you hit the like button, and I'll see you next time.